Courageous Kids today. Later on in today's lesson, you will need some aluminum foil for each of you. So if you don't already have a piece, go and ask your parents to grab you some. All right, so the last couple of weeks, we have been talking about worship, what it means to worship, how we can worship, and today we're gonna learn about worship some more. And if you missed some of those last, last lessons, go back and watch them. You'll really love them. But as we get going today, we have to start out with our question of the week. And our question this week is, what are three things that you really, really love? Tell us about them in the comments. And then as we get going up into our lesson, remember them as we learn about worship this week. What's that tune you're humming, Harper? It's a song by my favorite group, Light 20. That's a boy band, right? Light 20 is the greatest band to ever exist. Their voices are perfect. Their songs are incredible. I have all of their albums, their t-shirts, and their posters. I know all their favorite foods and their birthdays. I've seen them in concert seven times. Well, they have a concert in town tonight, right? Yeah, but I'm not going to that. Why not? Because I don't want people to think I'm obsessed. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm Harper. This is the time Connect HQ needed a reminder of who is number one. I just finished my third connection transmission today. I am exhausted. I know how you feel. I've been working all morning on backing up our files. I'm just finishing up now. Kat's been working on the work schedule all week. Finished. Whew. Is it just me? Does anybody else need a break? And you all deserve one. Captain Alyssa, I'm happy to report that I just finished revising all of the work schedules. Great job, Kat. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I know how hard you've all been working, and I want to show you just how much I appreciate all the hard work you do. That's not necessary, Captain Alyssa. We all love the work we do. I know you do, but Mike's right. You all deserve a break. So I've decided to give you all the afternoon off. What do you think about that? I mean, I thought we could all hang out and catch up a little bit. Or not. Hey, Harper, you enjoying your afternoon off? Definitely, it's so nice to have a little free time. Now, if I could just find some tape. Oh, well, you might try looking at that bottom drawer over there. Hey, Harper? Huh, what? You seem a little distracted. Aha! Here it is, just like you said it was. Thanks, Alyssa. Uh, uh, Harper? Huh? I'm just curious. What do you plan on doing with that tape? Well, you know how I'm the vice president of the Light 20 fan club? Yes. What kind of vice president would I be if I didn't have the perfect place to listen to all of their music? I, I don't know the answer to that question. Well, not a very good one, of course. That's why I'm gonna make the perfect sound studio in the observatory 
to listen to all of the Light 20 albums, and the tape is to hang up their posters. Oh, I, I don't actually think that's a very good idea. Well, I asked Maurice, and he said that it shouldn't damage the observatory walls. That's not really what I was talking about. Melissa, I need your help. Okay. Mike, what's going on? I need you to hold this box while I try to track down as many balloons as I can find. Also, grab any that you see. I'm aiming for about a thousand, but I'll make do with whatever I find. Why do you need a thousand balloons? For a water balloon fight, duh! It's gonna be epic. All the kids in the neighborhood are playing, two teams enter, one team gets really wet. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun! It is, and it's only the first on my list of fun things I'm gonna do today. Uh, I'm thinking about some trampoline stunts, seeing how many video games I can play at once. Ah, <sighs> well, that seems like a good start. Thanks, Alyssa. Sure thing. And if you decide you want some snacks, feel free to join me later in the lounge. Okay, cool. Maybe I will after I'm done with all my other stuff. Hey, Kat. I'm surprised to see you in here. No, I couldn't resist getting just a little bit more work done. Didn't you want the afternoon off? Time off is nice, but I've been able to accomplish so much without the distraction of other people here. See? I've reorganized all the Bible videos. That's great, Kat. Now, why don't you take a break? Enjoy the afternoon. Are you not happy with my work? I can reorganize them whatever way you want. Kat, you seem really concerned with what I think about you. I mean, you're the captain. Well, that's true. And I'm so glad that everyone on our team wants to do good work. But I wouldn't want anyone to turn work or my approval of them into an idol. An idol? What do you mean? Well, work is good. So is the respect of others. But when good things crowd out God, they become an idol. I thought an idol was something you built, like a statue that you worship instead of God. An idol is anything that you put in front of God. Mm, are you sure? I saw a story when I was reorganizing the Bible videos about a statue, a golden calf. Here it is. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. is alive. Exodus. After God brought the Israelites out of Egypt, God invited Moses to join him on top of a nearby mountain so they could talk. So Moses left and went to talk to God. The Israelites waited and waited until they felt like they had waited long enough. They found Moses' brother Aaron and said they were tired of waiting for Moses and they were tired of waiting for God. They told Aaron to make them new gods. So Aaron asked them to take off their gold jewelry and give it to him. Aaron melted down the gold and made a golden idol that looked like a calf. Aaron presented the idol to the Israelites and told them to worship it instead of God. The Israelites offered their sacrifices to their new gods because they were tired of waiting for Moses and they were tired of waiting for God. Meanwhile, up on the mountain, the Lord was giving instructions on how to live, but he knew what was happening down below. God told Moses, Go down to the Israelites. They have forgotten that I brought them out of Egypt. They are worshiping an idol made in the shape of a calf. The Lord was angry and wanted to punish the Israelites, but Moses stood up for them. Please, don't be angry. They are making a bad choice. Let me talk to them. So the Lord sent Moses down the mountain with all of the instructions they had talked about written on two stone tablets. When Moses saw them worshiping the idol, he was so angry he threw down the stone tablets and found his brother Aaron. Aaron, why did you make this idol for these people to worship? Aaron told him that they were tired of waiting for Moses and they were tired of waiting for God. So they made their own gods. 
Moses took the calf idol that Aaron had made and melted it in a fire. Then he reminded the Israelites. It wasn't a calf that brought you out of Egypt. It was God. He is the only one that deserves your worship. Moses went back to the mountaintop to ask God to forgive them for their foolish worship. It's strange to me that the Israelites built an idol. They forgot about God so easily. Well, we might not all go around building golden calves, but I think we can all think of a time when we forgot to put God first. Well, if that's all an idol is, I think I did that when I wanted to be praised for my work. Your compliments and what you thought of my work seemed more important than what God thought. It's important for us to remember that God wants what's best for us, and He is what's best for us. Worshiping God brings us closer to Him. It connects us to Him and helps us love like He loves. Anytime we worship something else, that's an idol. And that idol can get in the way of us worshiping God the way He deserves. Thanks for walking me through all this, Captain Alyssa. Of course, Kat. Wait, does somebody have a pogo stick? I don't think so. Ah, oh, that's fine. I'll just use my unicycle to jump on the trampoline. Today is so much fun! So I guess you decided to not cover the observatory walls with Light 20 posters? Watch, I'm in a bidding war with this guy for an official pair of Light 20 toenail clippers. In a few seconds, those clippers will be mine. Don't you think you're taking this just a little bit overboard? Overboard? I love their music. Yeah, but why do you need toenail clippers with their faces on it? Because it would be pretty silly having their finger clippers and not their toenail clippers. Harper. I know what you're gonna say. It's weird that I like a group this much and that I'm just a silly kid. Actually, that's not what I was gonna say at all. What I was going to say was, I remember loving this band called Boys to Watch when I was your age. One time I called a radio station 53 times to try and win concert tickets. Wow. Trust me, I know. But eventually I realized my love for that band was making my life too crowded. Too crowded? What do you mean? All of my time was filled with my love for that band. It was hard to have room for God when all of my thoughts and actions were too crowded with other stuff. That makes sense. I guess I haven't been making time for God either. God should have our time, attention, and worship above everything else that tries to crowd in. Will you say a verse with me? Sure. Okay. Comes from the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 8. Say it like this. Luke 4, 8. Luke 4, 8. Worship the Lord your God. Worship the Lord your God. And serve Him only. And serve Him only. Oh. Well, looks like you didn't win the tonal clippers. Sorry. I don't think I need that anymore. I don't want a band or tonal clippers distracting me from serving and worshiping God. I think I might have something else for you to do. All right, all right. Go for it. Take that, take that. 360 no scope! Woo -woo! Oh, I can't believe I pulled that off. Today is so much fun. Hey, Mike, that's quite the video game setup you've got there. Thanks. Might if I try? Absolutely. On this screen is Enemy Combat, on this screen is Spinal Crusher 7, and on this screen is Baby Yo-Yo's Adventures of the Gummy Bear Forest. Which one do you want? I think I'll try Baby Yo-Yo. Go ahead. I just need to have some fun and stop worrying about work so much. Yeah, that can be really hard to do. Oh, take that, enemy scum! Ooh! Alyssa helped me realize that I was relying on my work to get people to like me. I was letting their opinion of me become an idol to me. And that's not good. No, but it's good that you realize it. Sometimes our life can fill up with so much stuff we don't even realize we've forgotten about God. Do you think we're not ever supposed to have fun? We are absolutely supposed to have fun. We just can't let it be more important than God. Lots of things are fun, but God is number one. Lots of things are fun, but God is number one. I like that. Here. You done already? Yeah, Captain Alyssa and Harper are up in the lounge talking about everything that God's done for them lately. I think I'll join them. Do you want to come too? Fortunately, enemy combat doesn't have saves in the middle of a level, so I'm kind of stuck. Okay, see you later. Lots of things are fun, but God is number one. Cat, wait up! Hi, 
I'm Harper, and I'm part of Connect HQ. I have a great verse I'd like to share with you. Say it with me like this. Luke 4, 8. Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. When we worship anything or anyone other than God, we call that thing an idol. While Moses was in the mountains learning from God, the Israelites had forgotten all about their Creator. They had Aaron build them a golden statue of a calf, and they worshiped this idol instead of God. Idols aren't just statues. Idols can be anything that crowds our lives and makes us forget about worshiping and serving God. Good things like TV, music, games, sports, and hanging out with friends can be idols if they become more important to us than God. Ask yourself, how do you spend your time? What do you talk about the most? Are you using your talents to make yourself look good or honor God? Work on getting rid of anything that distracts you. At the end of the day, lots of things are fun, but God is number one. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. All right, baby yo yo, level one, and I've lost. Level 50, okay, I'm getting better. No, 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 stay away from the marshmallows. No, no, ah! Level 100. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. The levels keep going, baby yo yo. I thought there would be an end. Oh, I beat it. Yay, baby yo yo. <laughs> Things like video games, music, and achievements can be good as long as they're not the most important thing. We need to put God first. When we worship Him, we connect to His love. So the first step to putting God first is to become a follower of Jesus. And to become a follower of Jesus, all you have to remember are your A, B, Cs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. If you want to put God first and become a follower of Jesus, talk about it with a parent or leader you trust. Have you ever wanted something really badly? Like a new video game, for instance. And so whenever you have the chance, you would remind your mom and dad about how badly you want it. And finally, one day, they get it for you. And you're so excited. But then a couple of weeks pass and go by and you beat the video game. And it's not as exciting anymore, is it? There's, and then there's a new different video game that you want again. What happens to the first game? We typically move on to the newest and most exciting thing there is. You start to forget about that old game and all you can think about is the new game you want instead. That's a lot like what happened to Moses and the Israelites. The Israelites, they were happy because God had brought them out of Egypt, this horrible place that they were in. And it's almost as if they forgot. Moses went up to the top of a mountain to talk to God. And a few weeks go by and the Israelites aren't that excited anymore. In fact, they are tired of waiting for Moses to come back down from the mountain. So they take matters into their own hands and they build themselves an idol, a golden cow to be exact. They worship this golden cow instead of God. When Moses came back down the mountain, he couldn't believe what the Israelites had done. God had done all this amazing stuff for them. He provided for the Israelites and they so quickly forgot about God and replaced him and started worshiping an idol. An idol is anything that we love more than God. We can have idols just like the Israelites did, but they may look a little different. Things like your favorite toy or TV show can become idols, sports or YouTube, Clothes or food can even become idols. Now, most of these things aren't bad, but they can become bad and an idol 
when we care more about them than God. When we spend more time playing that game or when we care more about watching that show than we do about worshiping God, then it becomes an idol. That reminds me about our Bible point. Lots of things are fun, but God is number one. God is seriously the best and he cares so much about each and every one of us. And he loves you. He deserves all of your praise and worship. It's like our Bible verse says in Luke 4, 8. Can you say it with me? Luke 4, 8. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. God is the one we should worship. No one else is as, as amazing as him. Thinking about that makes me want to worship him now. Will you stand up with me and get ready to worship? You changed my life. You gave me a new start. Gave me a new start. It's all because of you, all because of you. You make me smile, you gave me a new heart, gave me a new heart. You make me smile, it's all because of you, all because of you, all because of you. God alone and not make idols. Now we may not have a golden cow in our lives, but 
idols are anything that we put before God. If you ever put things like friends, family, your iPad, or games before God, we can certainly love those things, but we are to love God more. All right, now do you have that piece of aluminum foil I talked about? I want you to take it and shape it into something that might be an idol in your life. It may be one of the three things that you listed at the beginning of Courageous Kids. So take a minute and do that now. Now, I want you to take that thing you made and hold it out in front of you in your hands. And we're gonna give it back to God as we pray. Jesus, we are so sorry that we have made this thing more important than you. God, this week, we are going to keep you at the center of our lives. Will you help us to focus on you? We love you so much and in your name we pray, amen. All right. Now I want you to take that thing that you made and set it on the ground and we're going to stomp on it because God is more important than the thing that we made. Are you ready? Go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, as you go about your week, remember to keep God at the center of your life. We'll see you again soon. Have a great day.